With the release of Lynx in just a few weeks, many players have been looking down on Bailu, and no, it's not just because of her height. But Bailu is not as bad as people are making her out to be, and I want to explain why in this video and show why I think Bailu is still extremely valuable in Honkai Star Rail. So first of all, I want to talk about the problems that people express about Bailu. And there's really, you know, two main problems that Bailu has from what I've heard from other people who have like talked about Bailu. The first one is that Bailu does not have a cleanse. Now cleanse can be super useful, especially in those like later stages of Memory of Chaos and against certain, you know, like regular enemies, considering that they will you know, put some pretty nasty debuffs on your characters and you want to try to get rid of them. And right now Bailu is the only healer in Honkai Star Rail that does not have a cleanse. And, you know, of course, we don't know officially what Lynx is going to do yet. But we do know that the other healers in the game, Natasha and Locha, they both do have a cleanse. So they are, you know, they do have that over Bailu. Then secondly, Bailu's healing is RNG based on her skill. So the way her skill works is that she will heal the ally that you target. And then she will heal two random allies as well. And, you know, the amount of healing slightly goes down with each of the droplets, but it doesn't really, at least in my experience, it hasn't really been, like, that much of a big deal for how much it goes down. But, you know, because of that being RNG, in situations where you get, where a character is really low and you need to heal them a bunch, you might get screwed over with some bad RNG. Like, if you, you might only get, like, the one droplet on them. Or you might have two characters that are low and none of the other droplets go to that second character. So that does become a problem in certain situations and I definitely do understand that because I'm sure we've all had MOC runs uh, for people using Bailu where you have two characters that are low and you're, you're hoping that you know at least one of the droplets will go to that second character but they don't. And it said the other two droplets go to your character that's at full health. But with that being said, now I want to go into why Bailu is not bad. Firstly, I do think you know, after using both of them for a good amount of time, I do think that Bailu has more healing than Natasha, just in terms of how much HP she heals. Now my Natasha build isn't perfect, and you know, neither is my Bailu build, which I'll get into in a bit here. But I do think that you know Bailu being able to um, just have higher healing numbers than Natasha and then also being able to heal up to three characters with her skill whereas Natasha can only ever heal one character with her skill is definitely really solid. I mean obviously Bailu is not better than Locha but I also don't, don't want to see people you know undervaluing Bailu just because you know of the problems I mentioned before. And to you know talk about my own you know experience with Bailu a little bit as well I do, you know, my Bailu is not like perfectly built or anything like that. Like she only has 110 speed. I do have her signature light cone though, which definitely does help. But I mean, even before that, I was running post-op conversation, the Natasha light cone. But yeah, I mean, like her, her relics are not even like that crazy. I do have, you know, two piece wandering cloud and uh, two piece uh, fleet of the ageless. But yeah, like I don't have like perfect relics for her. I do have some like good HP ones. And I have two four stars still, so like I'm not even getting like the maximum amount of like healing boost or like HP boost that I could be getting from her. And even with that, I still am able to heal up for a good amount. Like my ultimate at trace level six is healing for and with my current setup is healing for nearly 1.5k per character, which you know for some characters is like over half of their health. So which is de that's definitely really good. Plus it comes with, you know, damage reduction on the ultimate too, which is going to be really good for survivability. Then on her skill, each droplet I've seen, you know, typically will heal around like 1 uh, 1.3k, 1.2k for each droplet. Like it does reduce a little bit as, you know, for each droplet, but the reduction hasn't really been like too big of a deal, at least in my experience. But yeah, because of, you know, the amount of healing she's able to do even in like not the best scenario because like if I do get if I did get her, re her relics up I did get more HP on her because like right now I'm sitting at over 7k which is really good and you know gain that even higher which is raise your healing even higher so I think just because of that and her be being able to give the team more survivability with that damage reduction is going to be really great for her and not to mention you know 
I know people have said about her revive. It's like, oh, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather, you know, not die instead of, you know, having to get revived. But as I said, you know, similarly with the, you know, RNG healing, even if you're running, you know, Natasha or Locha, you know, sometimes you just get unlucky and you're fighting the like shadow guardians and they have multiple stacks of a thing and all of them hit one character and all of a sudden that character is just down. It's much better to be in those like specific situations to be able to revive that character and if that character doesn't die again, you save yourself that star on Memory of Chaos. But yeah, overall, I definitely want to, you know, just want to make this video talking about Bailu because I've been using Bailu since 1.0 and you know, sure, yeah, I definitely do like when people, you know, have these kind of dialogues so I can kind of think about it from my own perspective too. But I have been, you know, really enjoying Bailu. She's been really great on my account all this time. But I am also curious to hear about what you all have to say in the comments down below. I, I, I'm still probably going to keep using Bailu. I probably am going to, um, you know, it, it wants to get another healer, replace Natasha and see how that goes. But my Bailu, at least for me, is here to stay. But with that, everyone, that's going to uh, be the, uh, the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, all that fun stuff, and I will see you all next time.